Hello everyone! Hi, 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 hi! <coughs> oh, today I am going to do a drugstore slash high street makeup slash beauty slash cosmetics haul. I'm definitely not going to title the video that because that is just a bit of a mouthful. I went shopping. I'm going to partly blame this on Louise and just partly put my hands up and say yes. I went to Boots, I went to Superdrug, I bought way too many things, and this is what happened. Sorry. I'm going to try and film this video really quickly because as we speak it's about 32 degrees Celsius here in the UK and most people in the United Kingdom don't have air conditioning in their houses because this doesn't usually happen and I am currently melting under the light and the heat of my bedroom because I can't open the window because you'll hear the traffic. Sorry if by the end of it I have melted and my eyebrows are here. Which one should I do first? Boots, super drug, boots, super drugs. Let's do boots. I went to boots first. I went to boots with Louise. I'm going to blame my first two purchases on Caroline Hirons. She has a extremely good skincare blog. Just the woman is a genius. She's a skincare genius. And she always recommends the Hydroluron Moisture Booster with the purest hyaluronic acid, which is a serum that you put on before your moisturiser. Well, that's what I've been doing anyway. It says, increases skin hydration from below the surface with an ultra high quality hyaluronic acid that holds up to 1000 times its weight in water. That sounds really scary, but also really cool. I have been using this for the past two weeks and it is amazing. I feel like my face was possibly very dehydrated and I mean I've never had a skincare consultation I don't know from like a dermatologist what problems I have with my skin. I don't really even know professionally what skin type I have. I just kind of guess like most people but I do think that my skin was dehydrated because since using this I have seen vast improvement in my skin. Um, I've also been using other things on my skin which I think have also helped too but this is, it just sinks into my skin immediately. I put it on and it's gone. Like you don't feel anything on there and it's just amazing. So, so far I have been loving this. I also picked up from the same little selection in Boots the Peptobrite which is Fade to Bright Intense Brightening Treatment. That sounds a bit scary but it says it helps to improve the skin clarity while diminishing the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation, leaving a more radiant skin tone. I haven't actually used this yet, I've been using the Hydroluron, but it sounds good, so I'm going to give it a shot. The next thing that I spotted and picked up was this 17 Wild Metallic Eyes Eye Base. This is very similar to the Maybelline Colour Tattoos, but a lot cheaper. I just wanted to see if it was any good, because I love these things. Recently I have been loving just applying the cream eyeshadow as a base and just blending it out and smoking it out and just leaving it, because it's just very quick and easy. And so I wanted to give this one a try, and I really like the colour of this. This is the colour Wild Nude, which sounds crazy. Wild Nude. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this colour so, so much. So if you don't really have the budget for the Maybelline colour tattoos, these look pretty promising too, and they had some really nice colours. I also picked up this Barry M Jelly High Shine Nail Paint in the colour... Lychee! Although it's very summery and I have bright blue nails at the moment, which is also Barry M, it's the blue Barry M one, I think it's called... Blueberry? I don't know, I think it's that one, I don't... Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but I think that nude also really complements my skin tone and also because I've got a bit of a tan now, it kind of looks nice. And I also highly, highly recommend the Barry M Jelly Nail Paints. They are incredible, they're amazing. I've had this on my nails for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for like a week and no chips, nothing. They're, it's, it's amazing. So I got the nude colour and I'm looking forward to wearing that. I also picked up... Um, some Rimmel Cake Moss lipsticks. You will know that I wear red lipstick quite a lot and I would say that 99.9% .9 of the time the red lipstick that I'm wearing is the Rimmel Cake Moss in 107 which is not this one, it's this one. Um, and I got another one of those because my other one is running out. And I also picked up the 111 which is called Kiss of Life. This is super glossy. This is why I picked it up because it's a slightly different red. It's more of a cherry red and it's also a lot more shiny 
and the other one is still moisturising but it's a bit more matte so I am excited to try that. Now this may come as a surprise to some of you but I have never tried the Bourjois bronzing powder that looks like chocolate so I picked it up. Ooh, it's like a little book, a little chocolate book of chocolate. And you peel this back. Oh gosh, I can't peel. Got it. It's just a very popular bronzer that a lot of people rave about, so I wanted to give it a try because all of the makeup items were uh, buy one, get one half price. So I picked up that, and I got that in the shade, because I think there's a few shades. I got that in 52. So I don't know if that's the darker one or the lighter one, but um, I've heard great things about this, so I'm looking forward to giving that a try. I also picked up the bronzing primer, which is very similar to the ever so famous Chanel Bronze Universal, or Soleil de Tan, um, and it's the same sort of concept, so it, oh my god, how badly do you want to stick your finger in that? <laughs> it's a gel bronzer, so you can either use this as a base or blend this in on top of your foundation. I think it's mostly supposed to be used underneath the foundation to give like a natural bronzing effect or sculpting effect. Oh my god, it smells delicious. It smells like the body shop, like almond cocoa butter. Not almond, just cocoa butter. It already looks good enough to eat. And then you smell it and you actually want to eat it. Next up, I went to Superdrug. Yay! Because as I was saying, I'm getting a bit addicted to the cream eyeshadow bases. I don't remember whose video it was, I was watching someone's video and they were using the metallic pomegranate um, colour and it looked incredible and it's very similar to the darker shade in my Estee Lauder Raisins palette which I like to use all the time. I'm not sure if this is going to suit me, I'm not sure what it's going to look like but I bought it anyway just to just to see, just to see how this goes down. And I also picked up Pink Gold, which as you can imagine is a pinky gold. And I think they're both really, really pretty. You can wear them as a base for an eyeshadow, or if you're like me and you don't have a lot of time or you're rushing out the door and you just want a slap of color on just quickly, you can just apply them on their own and they still look really, really nice. The next two things I picked up, I am wearing one of now. It is the Bourjois Color Boost glossy finish lipsticks that claim to last 10 hours and also claim to be waterproof which are very big statements to make I must admit. The colours that I picked up are Orange Punch which is a gorgeous orange and as you know I like my orange and it's also just a nice colour for the summer and I also picked up the one I'm currently wearing which is Peach on the Beach which is the nicest name for a lipstick ever. These I actually prefer over the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains because Firstly, I really don't like the taste of the balm stains. I think they taste really odd, kind of like you're chewing on a plant or something. And these taste... They just don't really have much of a taste. They smell good, they don't really taste of anything, and they're a lot more moisturising and glossy, which I like a lot. I feel like I need to go back and get all of them because I'm obsessed. And they do last a lot, lot better than the Revlon one. So go and grab some of these because I really, really like them. I have a feeling they're going to become like my new obsession. Next up, I bought myself from the Sleek Counter a orange lip liner because, well, I was just about to say because I don't own an orange lip liner and I've just remembered that I do own an orange lip liner. So I think it's because the orange lip liner that I have is quite a dark um, orangey red and this is quite a bright bright orange which obviously is nice for the summer but also lip liner lasts a lot longer on the lips than lipstick so if you're going somewhere where you need it to last all day or it's weather like this and you just think that it might just disappear off your mouth or you're going to end up with like lipstick down here then lip liner is probably a very very good idea so got that also from the sleek counter um as you know i love their blushes highly highly recommend i always go in there looking to see if they've got a new one out and they had this one, which is Rose Gold in 926. Now this isn't a new one, this has been out for quite a while, but I'd seen so many people wearing this and loving it. And I don't actually have it in my collection because it's normally sold out any time I ever go to a counter. But the one super drug that I went in had had a restock and they had loads in. So I grabbed one and it looks like this. A lot of people say it's very similar to NARS Deep Throat or NARS Orgasm. Yes, they are names of products. I know I'm not quite sure what Nars were thinking, it's kind of a bit gross, but they do look, it does look very, very similar, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was just as pigmented, because 
sleek really know how to make a good blusher. Okay, so the next thing is from Collection, and I normally go to that stand purely to get my Lasting Perfection Concealer because I cannot live without it, and I always have one in my makeup bag. But this time I was like, hmm, I'll just see if they've got anything else that looks kind of interesting. And I did see this, which is the Work The Colour Eyeshadow Pencil. I don't really have any of these. I mean, I've got the bases, the Maybelline bases and things like that, but I don't ever have any in the form of a pencil. And I thought it was just a really nice concept. And it's such a pretty light pink colour. And I just know that this would look really, really nice in the inner corners of the eye, or as a highlight under the eyebrow. It is creamy too, and really easy to blend, which makes me like it even more. The last thing I picked up was from Barry M and I picked up this which I don't know if I'm going to love or hate, I couldn't decide when I was there but I bought it anyway because I'm never going to decide if I don't actually wear it and it is the Barry M Confetti Nail Effects. It's tiny 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 little specks of different coloured pastel confetti and it's just one of those nail polishes that you can just put on top of a colour and just it just adds a little extra. Even if I just do sort of one accent nail with it, then I think it might look quite cool. Or it could look like an ant has vomited on my nail. Either way, we shall soon find out. <laughs> so those are all the things that I have bought from Boots and Superdrug recently. I love going into the drugstore because it's just so much fun. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I am gonna go and lie in my freezer or just pour a bottle of water over me because I'm so hot and my voice is going weird. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you very soon, enjoy the sun, bye! Shush. The Maybelline colour tad tad Harry M jelly. The heat, the heat. Melting, melting, itching and melting, and it's probably not. And yeah, mm. and if I'm ugh, my bum is so sweaty. Oh man! So basically, in your world. The Little Mermaid magically grew legs, yeah. met the love of her life and lived happily ever after. Yeah, what did happen? You don't actually know?